So I had promised y'all a review of Mr. Jim's Subs and Pizzas, which is a landmark in Chesapeake, Virginia. It's been around since 1972. I myself started working there in 89 and continued to work there until around 91. I, in the time that I was there, helped to also start their delivery business, which has netted the company quite a bit of money. If I had only been smart enough to ask for a percentage of the sales in perpetuity. Um, but it was myself, my best friend Mike, aka one of my brothers, because that's the way I, uh, still to this day, the way I see him. And the gentleman who currently now owns part of Mr. Jim's, a gentleman by the name of Kevin Hoyt. And now we are in the process of trying to get something lined up so I can do an interview with Mr. Hoyt and or Lamar, who is the owner that I started working under and is still the primary owner of Mr. Jim's. Uh, what I'm having tonight, <clears throat> what I'm finishing off tonight, is a Mr. Jim special. It's a cold cut special. It's got uh, two types of ham, luncheon meat, um, oh, excuse me, one type of ham, two types of salami, lunch meat, um, cheese, American cheese, and lettuce with their proprietary blend of oil and vinegar. Uh, the reason I say that it's proprietary is there are a few ingredients, and yes, I do know what they are, that I'm not allowed to share that goes into their oil and vinegar. Now, I will say that this sandwich is one that I had not had in probably two or three years. Um, I have noticed a few changes. They still use top quality meat. Um, I think my only complaint, actually, to be honest, about this particular sandwich is probably that when I ordered it, I ordered it with light hot peppers. And they went with a regular dose of hot peppers um which is basically a tablespoon of hot peppers on the sandwich that it's run down the top of the bread and then slid into the oven and toasted uh, i wanted hot so that i could taste more of the meat um but ha still have that little bit of kick so on a scale of one to ten ten being out you know the best sandwich i've ever had and one being the w absolute worst that i've ever had i'd still give mr jim a solid eight and a half. Uh, again, the only reason I'm deducting that that point point and a half is because they did go a little heavy on the peppers, um, and that was a little disappointing. Other than that, the fresh cut fries that we had along with these, Mrs. Mutt and I shared an order of large fresh cut fries, uh, which are cut from actual potatoes every day in the back of the store. Um, I can't tell you the number of those potatoes I've cut while I, when I worked there. Um, and they are fried to order uh, in peanut oil. Uh, those came out fantastic. Um, still have a few of those. We'll warm them up later probably. Um, but I'm finishing off this last little bit of sandwich. And I remembered while I was eating it that I had promised you all this review. So here it is. Uh, again, out of a possible score of 10 I give this a solid eight and a half now remember I don't ever give a 10 for me to give, give you a 10 it would take an act of God so an eight and a half is really about a nine in most people's scales um, so I would strongly recommend that if you ever get out to Great Bridge in Chesapeake on Battlefield uh, at the Wilson Village Shopping Center um, slide in give them a uh, give them a try they've got a full menu of all kinds of subs they do make their own pizza sauce uh for their pizzas they do roll out their own hand dough for their pizzas as well um so yeah i, I would strongly strongly recommend that if you're in the mood for pizza or subs to give them a try y'all take care i'll see you real soon